Hello my friends, welcome to the UED AI project. We are jumping into mission number five, the Antiguan Revolt, where we meet Sarah Kerrigan. Let's give this bad boy a go. This is Jimmy. Hmm, it's right nighttime. Here. Yeah, uh, so there is a day-night cycle. I don't know if the day-night cycle actually does anything, but I think it's cool to have. Even if it's just purely aesthetic, I think it's really neat. So, yeah, we're gonna move forward. Whoa! Whoa, Jim! <laughs> Why is he fire so fast? AI assisted Jim Rayner. He's a murder machine. Also, why is there a gas geyser up here? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, that's very StarCraft 1. Is there a normally a gas geyser up there? I don't actually know. I feel like there's not. Ooh, triple wraith. Uh, lock down? Yeah. Get locked down. Okay, so. This mission is one where you unlock the Wraith normally. However, UED AIP is supposed to be hard and the Wraith is garbage. So, uh, I will make a Wraith. I could have just checked it out there, I guess. It didn't feel like it was any better against ground, at least. I mean, they did some damage done against my Marines, but... I'll check it out. So we gotta take this stuff down. I believe that Jim outranges bunkers. Um, if he's... Yeah. There you go. He fires so fast. <laughs> it's very weird. Let's put Kerrigan into a bunker. She's pretty vulnerable. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Siege tank and Goliath. You normally do not have those on this mission. That is a very big chain. Also, Jim... What? Why are you so good? Jim is insanely powerful here. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to try to get a lot of value out of him early. And this is weird. So these are not mine. They're just like two AI allies chilling out. Sorry, there's like a whole lot of new stuff that I'm trying to digest at the same time. So there's two purples and they're not hostile. They are allies. Then there is these guys, who are the brown enemies. And then I have to... I have new tech stuff available. I guess I gotta make a starport to see if I have any tech available over there. Usually you get the Wraith and the dropship on this mission. But I'm seeing the Goliath, and that's actually making me think some pretty good things. Goliath is very, very strong in TVT. It's good against basically every unit except for the siege tank, and it's even kind of alright against the siege tank. Weirdly enough, uh, Goliath is known for its bad pathing. It's not Dragoon levels of bad pathing, but it's pretty bad. And that actually helps it a little bit against the siege tank because they do not clump up. They just, they get too lost and confused to do something like that. So, do we have a barracks somewhere? Yes. Firebat and Marine. So it looks like the... Barracks tech is pretty locked down. Yeah, iron thrusters and spider mines. Yeah, spider mines. Gotta drop those. Let's put one over here. Oh no, one right here. Uh, for good measure, we'll put one right there for our, our friend that exists. So I guess the logic behind having the Antiguan allies is that it makes sense, I guess, that you come to help them revolt, but they're the ones revolting, so why would they be under your direct command? I don't know. It's interesting. I'm fine with it. I am interested in seeing how good the AI is. They're definitely doing stuff. And that, I know that sounds weird, but that's definitely a big part of the AI. So we got the Wraith. I'll build one to check how good it is. And then we'll make our decision. And then we have the dropship. And the way that you normally want to play this is... Oh, there's gas guys are over there as well. I'm going to take the Wraith and go scout out the islands. I want to check how much gas is on these two geysers. 
Got it. So it looks like the way this works is the AI just sends little tiny attacks against those allies, and they just do their own thing. They defend a little bit, and it'll be fine. You can get vehicle weapons and probably vehicle armor. The Wraith does 11 damage, and yeah, that doesn't seem too great. It's definitely buffed. 11 damage is more than it normally does. Where's Jim? Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, crap. Um, da -da 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 -da. Oh, he didn't drop his mine. Oh, and he's building the base over here. Oh, there's minerals. That's not normal. Interesting. Okay, we got one one on the way. We can get some Goliaths started, and we should be able to... Yeah, we're getting kind of torn through by their Goliaths. Very bulky. We got Machine Gun Jim Rayner himself to assist. The Marines feel pretty bad overall. The massive nerfs to them, they're very cheap. But overall, they don't feel like they add a whole lot. They're basically a mineral dump, and I would prefer to be spending my minerals on vultures, honestly. I think that Goliath Vulture is going to be very powerful. Oh, no, no. 350. That is... 350 for a factory. Okay, 300, 200 for a starport, 350, 100 for a factory, and 200 for a barracks. Factories are expensive. The starport is too. Well, I'm going to put the starport over here. We'll get one more factory, I think, for good measure. And then they're building a base over there, and I think that I want to bust it. I'm not really a fan of their ability to do that. I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually do such a thing. Let's get an academy. The academy will allow me to get scanner sweep, and then I can actually check what's going on, because I feel very blind right now. I had built that scout for wraithing. Er, I built that wraith for scouting, but I didn't really get to do that. We're going to wait for them to move up there once the tanks start on sieging. Okay, they see me. They should be on sieging now. There we go. And then we can dive on top, try to take stuff out. Okay, we're going to get two machine shops and one not machine shop. I think that's the way that I want to play it. That's probably what I can afford. Siege tank's obviously very, very good in TVT. Though the transit factor is going to be an issue because we have to get across the map eventually. Oh, they're just like coming in with raids and stuff. I hope this guy f manages to figure out his life because he seems to be having a, I got the wrong upgrades. <laughs> Damn it. I always do this. I just, I cannot do Starcraft one armory upgrades. It's like my Achilles heel. It's a very specific Achilles heel. <laughs> you know? Just part of how it is. Uh, it's not the worst thing to be absolutely terrible at, but it is embarrassing every time it happens. So what are we looking at over here? The enemy has wraiths. Are they going to have cloaks? I'm not sure. But we have anti-air. We have this stuff. I think that we can move over and bust pretty soon. We're going to wait for three tanks, and we're going to do the three tank timing. The reason it's a timing is because I have no patience after that, so it's time to go. I hope you can figure your way out of there. Oh, okay, we're going to have to bust this bunker open so that my rally point works out properly. We're just waiting for the Goliath to come reinforce, you know. And then we're going to reinforce with a lot of Goliaths because they're pretty cheap. So one of the reasons I like Mac, you get so many Marines with this half-cost Marine thing. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, my ally's actually doing something useful. Okay, we're going to go at the same time as them. Looks like they don't have cloak. Alright, so they just ran in and died to Siege Tank. Good. Go. So we're going to move... Uh-oh. Siege mode. And siege mode. Now we're going to start pushing. Pull them into our tanks. Now we are the defenders. Nice, nice. I'm going to be a little bit more careful than that with my movements. But I think we're going to be able to get in. And if we can take down this tank, we'll be golden. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Before it fires again. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. And that says to me that it is command center time. Let's take this enemy base. Let's siege up a couple of these. It's going to make it harder for the enemies to get on top of us. And that should help protect the Goliaths, which are protecting everything else. 1-1 one, one is finished now that I wasted a bunch of money on stuff. Okay. And now we're going to have to start working on getting some dropships and stuff up. Uh, might as well start queuing up a bunch of these. I know that you're not supposed to queue. It's uh, macros hard in StarCraft 1, and sometimes it is okay to take shortcuts. The AI is really competent compared to the normal version. I'm just going to throw that out there. It feels much, much more interesting to play against. They had, like, a good position here. They built up this base from scratch, and yet they were putting stuff in really smart positions. That kind of thing is real impressive to me. All right, let's take a gander at what's going on. Oh, my. That is a lot of base. Yeah, this definitely has to be the LZ. I don't think it's going to be too bad, though. Let's get a control tower. So I think the way that I want to do it is send, like, three dropships. We're going to put two tanks down and then maybe maybe three tanks and, like, six goliaths. And use that as the central staging area as we go do the rest of things. Hmm, I'm actually not sure if we have the ability to hold this area and attack at the same time. How do we take a siege? Oh, gosh. Wait. Oh, we don't have to clear over here at all. We could just do a siege fight. Interesting. Huh. That's actually a really cool map design. They've taken this map that is built like this normally. They encourage you to go over to this area, and then you can use that area as a staging point in order to push away the enemy later. Like, you clear out the LZ with your... With the tanks that you used to clear it. That's really clever. I like that a lot. Oh, they have cloak. So you're going to have to grab a scanner sweeper. we got to build an engineering bay. This whole area needs to be fortified a little bit better because the enemy seems very, very intent on trying to take it from me. Supply, on the other hand, is doing great. Just keeps going up. Supply as a mech player is very, very slow. So when you see it go up like this, you should be real happy. The enemy seems to be trying, but they are just wasting units at this point. I don't know if this is a flaw of the AI, but it doesn't feel like it's making very strong decisions. We can absolutely siege that. So we're going to move forward with the healthy guys. Then we siege up. Oh, this is, they're going to get another shot. Hey, we didn't lose a guy. It's all that matters. And then, of course, we got to get this gas, guys. Oh. Uh, we need a comm set. Oh, I don't have any scans whatsoever here. Let's get a turret here, a turret here, and a turret 
here. I just don't want to be cheesed by Cloak. I'm getting cheesed by Cloak. There's Cloakers everywhere. Oh, he gave up. Nice. So what we should be able to do as time goes on is slowly move these tanks forward. We're going to need some defenses on the side. Actually, you could build that. Maybe that'll free you from being stuck. Get a turret here. Siege mode. Siege mode. And then... We can start slowly pulling the enemy like this. I'm going to start building a ridge of tanks over there once I can. Hey, this guy got free. Very nice. So I think for a bit I need to go siege tanks. Oh, yeah. Sufferings from success. The Giant Grant game story. Always supply blocked. Okay, these are all upgrades that are done. Maybe we just keep creeping. I'm a little bit concerned because I just am very much so lacking in the tank department. I think I need like eight tanks. Because then I could do two different groups of load on loads here. Four tanks, eight Goliath, four tank, eight Goliath. Yeah. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Are you okay? This guy's like dying over here and I'm not sure what to do about him. I guess we could Goliath drop to try to save him. Hmm. I was hoping he would just do better with his life. And I oh, I have a bunch of Goliaths over here. Well, those probably can't go over and defend. I'd like to build more factories, but it's very, very expensive. Hey, that worked out really nicely. Tank, tank. I keep pressing S for siege tank, and I'm messing up my macro as a result because it's T for tank. So we have one, two, three. Is that all I have? I thought I had four dropships. I want four. Maybe even five. Kind of have to go in big batches over here. Oh, they're sending a lot of raids around. That's kind of concerning. Well, we just took them down. The enemy macro in this mod is so much better than the base game. It's actually kind of crazy. Where are you going? Hey! <laughs> the guy's just lost and joined the wrong army. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He's trying his best. We've all been there, where you're like not sure which line you're supposed to queue in or something like that. You're just following people and may or may not turn out to be the right line, but it's embarrassing nonetheless. I totally do not judge that guy for being in that situation. Alright, this is the beginning. So, we're going to move our siege line a little bit over here. I really need to change my Starcraft 1 hotkeys. Over siege mode is so dumb. I don't know what kind of keyboard they initially had when they were designing Starcraft 1, but it was not one that humans used. Keep the depots, keep the tanks going. want to unload. Please work. Siege up the tanks. We'll bring the dropships back to grab some more Goliaths and some more tanks. And this is going pretty darn well. Oh, I didn't siege up. I thought I did. That's not good. I'm taking a lot more damage than I needed to. 
I still think we're going to bust it. Hey, an SCV. That's actually kind of helpful. Got a lot of guys that are just chilling in a line over here. Oh, it is hard to play StarCraft 1. It just, it requires a lot of actions to exist. It's like having to manually remember to breathe. Congratulations, you don't have to do that. Try to get these sieged up one more time. And then we can tank mode, tank mode. Get everybody loaded on. Oh! I don't see a whole lot of cloakers left. Just that one? Oh my gosh, it's taken a lot of stuff. So, uh, for perspective, in the normal version of this, you can absolutely win with your initial forces. You just build a couple dropships and you're done. It's a very, very, very easy mission. So this difficulty increase is really cool, really nice, and really welcome. I think I've controlled the area. Lacking on anti-air, actually. Tank count is doing great. I don't think I'm going to need uh, siege mode anymore. We're just going to pump a bunch of Goliaths. Actually. Let's tear an ingenuity, this bad boy. Then these guys across. Then we don't have to ferry anymore. That'll be nice. I like that a lot. And then we can... Factory. Factory. You guys need to be pulled. We can control group these up and start actually clearing through this base. I'm really glad I didn't go for the Wraith. The Wraith is like 7,000 of them have died in this mission. <laughs> it is definitely better than it used to be, but it looks like it's pretty horrible still. Now, how much more are the defenses? There's a lot of production still. Gonna have to be careful. Which over that. I'm not sure that we're actually going to be able to produce on this area. So this is where the remaining starports are. After that, I won't have to deal with Cloak. So these are definitely important to take down. Then the rest of our forces are going to move this way and get on top of these remaining production. Ooh! That's one of the reasons that Goliaths are so good. They're really good at snap movements with their turret to hit stuff like the spider mines before they explode. Oh, look, the ally dropped one unit. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> you know what? Not going to be upset. Ooh, nice tank position. All right, so this floating factory thing has not been a good idea. All it did was cause me to bank 4,000 minerals and have no way to spend them. Now I just feel like I have bad macro. Come on. Come on. We have to dive this final tank and we should be able to take everything else down. Objective is to kill all enemy buildings and not lose your heroes on this mission. So, there we go. Other SCVs get slaughtered. Yeah, buildings just... I forget that they move a lot faster in StarCraft 2. In StarCraft 1, they're very, very slow. Of course, everything is slower in StarCraft 1. That's just kind of how it goes. Alright. Final two. Ooh, that was quite a mission. Well, that was actually a lot of fun. For mission number five, that was pretty darn good. I'm actually a little bit intimidated for what's going to be coming later, if that's what we got slammed with right away. Well, guys, thank you for watching. This is a really cool mod with a lot of interesting things going on. It takes me a little bit to process at the beginning, apparently, but we did it. 
I hope you enjoyed watching, and I see you again tomorrow. Peace. Oh, I gotta. Peace.